Now, going on to the main body here, I've already discussed that the heads are the same. Same color skull cap, same head, same piece that's used in between them. But with the body, well, obviously they are uh, very different. Because, well, w with the original version of Blanco um, right here, he uses the red main body piece. Uh, that comes from Nitro Blast, I believe. Um, I think that was the first set, and also the only set um, to date that uses an, a red uh, main body piece. Though I could be wrong, I think Scorpio also had that. I just remembered that. So yeah, I think Scorpio also had that, but Nitro Blast was the first one. So, red skeletal body right here, but with Blanco XL, it's pretty obvious that, um, at least at the time of recording this video, that the extra long main uh, body pieces do not exist in uh, red, so there's an orange one right here. That's also used on Jane Bricks' version as well. Everything is supposed to be replicated from Jane Bricks' version. I did my the best that I could with... Um, with replicating, I had to uh, stop the video, the original video that showed Blanco XL, just so I could see how the parts were worked out. I'll talk about the whole th things on the back in a bit. Uh, now, for the main body, the main body right here, he uses, well, both versions use the key orange main body piece, some Bricklink refers to that as bright orange, but it looks more yellow to me, and because it looks... Well, here's the thing, it's kind of a yellowish orange, but because it looks more yellow than orange, I'm gonna call it, uh, yellow. I know some people will call it a bright orange, but... My eyes tell me yellow, okay? Now, what is quite interesting is that with the XL, um, there is a blue hero skull cap in there. Now, that's connected with the lightsaber blades. I got a couple of the black ones on Bricklink, though I already did have lightsaber blades, but none of them in black. At least not any that weren't used on any of my other uh, mocks or sets. So I ordered black ones because they would just fit in much better, and I, I just wanted to save the, uh, the colored ones for other things, because they would just not be seen on, on this version, on this particular thing. So yeah, blue skull cap used on the chest, and now with the hero chest uh, armor pieces, um, well with the original Blanco, 1.9, he uses a blue main body piece, which is a, a blue uh, chest armor. What? That, that's what I meant. Blue chest armor, right there, with a green hero core. Now, with Blanco XL, um, they do keep the blue in a bit, but instead of using a blue, instead of using one blue chest armor, they use two red chest armor pieces for Blanco XL. The hero cores are still green. Uh, green hero core in a red chest armor piece. Who else has that color scheme, I wonder? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna quickly go over the back because the video, I'm down to the last 30 seconds. Um, uh, with, with the, with the, uh, back here, the back of the, uh, the back of the arms, uh, right here, um, well, actually, I think, um, I think I may have to have split this into two, uh, two videos, because it's just too long for the 15-minute limit, because of the title that is shown at the beginning, so... So yeah, this was originally intended to be recorded as one a video, but if you're watching watching this part as a part two, then you would know uh, why. 
So, anyway, well, this is obviously part two, you already know that, so. Um, I'm gonna look at the back of a Blanco XL now, and take a look at the, uh, these joints here. Now, what is strange is that in the video, the video that shows Blanco XL, is that it was said that he uses six quadruple joints. Now, I don't know if this whole thing right here is supposed to count as two, but I don't know. And also, quadruple joints. Quadruple means four. And the legs right here carry that over, have four joints in them. But this one on the arm doesn't. This only uses three. One, two, three. Now, before you comment, well, you made a mistake. There's supposed to be one more joint. No, nope, no. Nope. That was how the original one looked. If you don't believe me, check out that video. Okay, so... Now, I'm gonna go on with um, what I mentioned in the first half of the uh, this review, the first half of the two. Now, y you can bend the legs ju just like this. Good ar ar articulation, just like that. Well, on this leg at least. But, here's kind of the problem with the left leg. When you bend it over, uh, like, like that, well, watch what happens when you bend it back. This piece comes out. Yeah. That is basically a problem with bending the legs. Because that, that thing pops out. Now, I did think about trying to find some way to make sure that it wouldn't come out just like that, but I could not come up with any good way, so I just had to... I just have to deal with having to put it back in every time you turn, bend the legs like that, or just end up doing it not at all. I only did that to demonstrate how that goes out. And, well, I think this is about it. So, pretty much you've, you've already realized that this has been separated into two videos because, well, too long to be just one video, though there are some people that um, do upload videos more than 15 minutes, but 15 minutes is like, well, it's the common limit. Some people are enabled to upload videos longer than 15 minutes, but not all of them, sadly. I am one of those that can, but I kind of prefer not to, because you just never know what could happen. So, anyway, I think that is about it for this one. Um, if... Oh, <laughs> his face was not shown. Um, oh, and, um, I'm not gonna need him for this video anymore. But I may keep him around because I may come up with another thing for this guy to do in the future. So that is my review on Blanco XL. Um... I really don't know what else to say about this character, though I am quite impressed with how this character turns out. I will say that this character almost does look like he could be an official set. I mean, an official set, wouldn't you say? I mean, sure, there's this piece, which is, well, just out of place um, in modern day, but... Despite that, though there could have been one of, though if this was an official set, this one, this piece right here could have been the modern version of that piece. Though I really don't know if, um, if these pieces still are in existence right here. They are very uncommon, at least, um, with me. So, that is about all for this one. So, I'm gonna sign out. Thank you for watching.